Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man. Last video, we finally got the claw from Hydra at 1241 KC, we made the Dragon Hunter lands, and then we used up 3.4k Dragon Bones in the Willy, uh, which got us to 92, almost 93 prayer. And now that we're done with Hydra, I want to go back to TOB to get the Avernic Defender Hilt. Something I haven't really done on this account before is get rid of something that I really didn't want to get rid of. Like, there have been things like the Guild Armor pieces that weren't really practical at all to the account, so I didn't really care about getting rid of those. But we're at the point now where I have to pick and choose which items to keep in terms of like practical use. Um, I do want to save all these herbs because I have a plan which I'll get into after we're done with Eater Blood. But we have three bag slots here and I have like five items that I want to store in there. Um, but there's one item that I've been holding on to for a long time that I think I'm ready to get rid of. Um, and that is the Pegasian Crystal. We got the Hydra Leather a few videos ago. And I said I'd probably get rid of the Pegasian because I feel like Ferocious Gloves are more of an improvement for melee than my imaginary Pegasian boots would be for range. And because of that, I guess I'll be alking the Pegasian Crystal. Ah, uh, dude, I feel like I'm going to regret this. Like, the thing is, I don't have Ranger Boots, so like, it just, it doesn't help me at all. Like, there's no point to keep it. I've always said that if I were to get rid of this, probably the next medium clue that I do, I'll get the Ranger Boots. But you know what? Pegasians aren't storable in the POH, and Blessed Boots are. I do have a couple pair of Blessed Boots. So I think in terms of practical use, it's not going to be worth it for me to keep the Pegasian, so we're going to be alking it. Yes. Oh, dude, I've held on to this for so long. I think I've gotten like two or three of them in total, too. I know if I were to go back specifically for that, I would just never get it, but... Alright. It's gone. It's been done. I guess especially with the blowpipe getting nerfed very soon, probably. Um, range isn't going to be as important anyways, and melee is going to have more use and more spots, so maybe it's for the best that we're keeping the ferocious gloves. And speaking of the blowpipe nerf, first we have a word from today's sponsor. I still keep my old wallet just for these videos. Here's the old wallet, it's all bulky and stuff. Frick you. But now here is the Ridge wallet, and as you can see, compared to the old wallet, it's smaller, thinner, and a lot less bulky. I've been using the Ridge wallet since they sent it to me about six months ago, and it's been holding up really well. Believe it or not, I do actually leave the house and I do actually have a need for a wallet. So I'm very glad they sent this to me. It's very easy to get your cards out. Just push your finger into the little ridge here, fan your cards out, pick out the card that you want, and then very easily slide it back in. And there's also a clip, or if you want a strap, for cash on the back. Ridge is so confident about their wallets that they offer a lifetime warranty on them. So you only have to buy one wallet ever and you never have to worry about buying another wallet ever again in your whole life. They offer free shipping worldwide and they have a 45 day money back guarantee. So if you find out you don't like it, you can return it for free and get your money back. Ridge was launched on Kickstarter eight years ago by father son team Daniel and Paul Kane and they've sold over a million wallets since. And as you can see on their website, they have a bunch of different materials and designs, and they have other daily gear you might like too. It's their eighth anniversary, so they're offering 15% off up through March 23rd. So it's pretty much like Black Friday, but in March. Make sure to go to ridge.com slash mudkip, and thank you so much to Ridge for sponsoring this video. One more thing that we're gonna get rid of is the Zami Chops, and it's not necessarily getting rid of them, um, it's just putting it into the treasure chest. As some of you may know, we will not be able to take it out unless we ever finish that full Zami set. Whenever I do like hybriding PBM, like Grotesque Guardians, for example, I wear the Zami D high top and then Carol's bottom, so I don't need the Zami chaps. Like, I probably would have used them for Catholic Queen, but it's not a big deal to just use Black D high chaps anyways. It's going into the POH. I guess this is something I'll have to get used to doing, or at least once I get back into Slayer. Like, after every Slayer task, when I want to switch back and forth between the Barrow's gloves and the Ferocious gloves, I'll have have to come down here because the ferocious gloves are untradeable because they require dragon slayer 2 however you don't need dragon slayer 2 to kill hydra which you get the hydra leather from so you can trade the leather which means you can put the leather in the looting bag but the gloves you can't put them in the bag because they're untradeable it's not too bad of a run to get here though all right so uh, i guess now we're just gonna start preparing for tob with the main thing being i have to get a dragon defender again because the dragon defender i have in the stash unit that also comes along with the slayer helm i don't want to keep the slayer helm on me while i'm doing tob so we'll go for that one out of 100 Dragon Defender once again. And of course, with the attack cape, we don't have to get tokens, we just get unlimited time in here. This is probably the most god-awful name I've seen all week. Oh lord, dude. Oh my god. Bro, what? Oh dude, there it is, the Dragon Defender. Let's check the KC. 
229. You know, I was going to say I'm building up my RNG, but that curve bone dude, that literally could have been the pet or 50 dragon defenders. God, I'm so unlucky. This is the thing about UIM. Like, I just did a two hour grind for like a temporary item I'm going to be dropping, like eventually. Huge boost for the account right here. Okay, let's go buy the Crystal Halberd back for 750k GP. And with that, I think we're uh, pretty much ready for TOB. Oh, I have to get the medallion thing too. The main thing I want to get from TOB is the Avernic, which is also the most common drop. And then once we get that, we can move on to doing Raids 1 again because it's been a very long time. But I use the Defender in so many places, including Raids 1, so I feel like it just makes sense to get Avernic before doing anything else in the game. And I think I'm going to commit myself to not doing anything else at all, no matter how many raids it takes. I hope I don't regret saying that. Uh, we are currently at 50kc. Here's the scoreboard if you want to see what we've got going on here. I think for this video, we'll make the goal either, well, of course, a Vernick, or if we don't get it, I think we'll go to 100kc. But for now, I kind of remembered that we have to like wait for a team, and there's a lot of waiting involved for TOB. It's a lot nicer with chambers because a lot more people know how to do chambers, and you could really have like any amount of people. Like we can go with three people versus uh, TOB. I don't think I'm good enough for a trio yet. So for now, just going to continue on with the redwood chopping and burning. Do your beginner's voice. All right, we're off to TOB. Uh, the only difference between now and when we did before is that we have one less inventory spot because I got two new items, but only free up one bag spot. So I guess for now the Zora scales are going to be in the inventory and hopefully it's not too much of a detriment. Never mind, I'm a freaking idiot. I put the freaking trident in the looting bag. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about it but the triads in here, which I need to take out. Okay, the other item that I freed up that was in the looting bag before is also the vials of blood, because I dropped those uh, after TOB. So never mind, this is actually kind of a good thing, because we will have like a full inventory of space to work with then, or not full inventory, but like the amount of space I had before. First TOB back, handsomely rewarded, as always. Hey, Zach. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's an unfortunate start to... <laughs> Come on, beat keeper outfit, yes. I want to say it's piece number four. Yep, all we need now is the legs. We have got an elite casket, not from TOB, but from Redwoods. I just spent an insane amount of time last night and this morning just AFKing, woodcutting, and fire making. Um, I was also thinking of things I can do in between TOBs besides woodcutting, like if I actually want to pay attention and do stuff. Um, LMS is one thing that we can do. I'm probably just going to go to free-to-play world. I think you get less points in free-to-play, but it'll be easier for me because I could just like compete against bots or something. I don't know how it works, but I'm going to try and free-to-play and see how it goes. I've only done one game before ever, and I have four points from that. Um, I'd like to get these outfit pieces eventually one day because they are storable in the POH, so it's something to work towards. Oh, I think Swift Blade's actually storable in the POH as well. Plus, you could always buy looting bags here too. Bro, it took me so long to get the kill and I got no points, I'm assuming because it's in free to play. Oh my god. Alright, that was a nice little session. We're up to, uh, let's see, 12 points now. And we got all these clues last night from Chopping Redwoods as well. Let's see if we get anything good. Oh, that's new. And then we have some mediums to open as well. You know, like I said before, because I alk the peg, I wouldn't be surprised if the next medium I open gives ranger boots. We'll see. Okay. Oh, the crier coat's new at least. That's cool. And okay. Okay, let's see what's new for the POH. Okay, we have the myth plate body. Crier coat is new. Bronze plate body G is new. And we had that already. And we are two out of three for the crier outfit. I guess you could say we got no special loot. Uh, uh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we just got a vials of blood drop. Check it out. Watch how fast uh, we're going to go through all these blood runes here. So we'll try to put these in there. And we can make... Oh, 49. That's actually... Nice. I'll still keep blood runes in my rune pouch, and then whenever we get the vials of blood drops, I'll just add whatever I can into here, and then drop the rest over to the main. All right, we got an elite done from TOB. All right. Oh boy, we've got a virtual fire making level 102. Okay, we got some clues done from woodcutting last night. Oh, that's new. Elegance is pretty rare to get. Did we have the top for this already? If we did, then there won't be a notification warning. Oh, we had the top? That means we finished the pink elegant. Hey, look at that. I guess there's still like the other piece, like there's the female and the male version, um, but we got at least one kind of this set done. Hey. Oh, I just got two magic seeds. I think that's going to give me 99 farming. Oh, that's that's big. Oh, I think so. 
Massive, another 99 on the UIM. He's definitely gonna yeah, match yeah. tomorrow, all right, guys. All right, I'm, not, I'm not putting that on the video for Q. Wow, the whole the whole party's here for me. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Yay. Easy. Woo. Thanks, dude. I'll buy the cape later. Thanks. Yep, nice. The farming grind does not end there, however. First bit of post-99 farming XP for the pet. Yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of post-99 farming XP on this account. Please. Oh, purple. Oh, oh, oh that's mine. Let's go. Oh, nice. Hey. Say your first one. Um, yeah, that actually is my name. Oh, Let's shit. go. Good luck. Okay, something expensive that's so I can upgrade my gear. Good luck. Spin the win. Let's go. Oh, oh, nice. nice. Oh, that's a, I'll take it. That's nice. nice. That's good money. Yeah, second best. Oh, man, I actually said I'll take it. Sure <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> we take those. We take those. Let's go, boys. Coming in. Coming in. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. No, oh, no way. I just noticed the KC that you got the rapier on. No freaking way, dude. 69? I, yeah, dude. It's the weed Bodhi number. All right, the back-to-back. -back. Plocks. Come on. We did. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh, nice. Not time. That's crazy. Good luck. Yeah. First time I've ever seen it back to back. Uh, Congrats, man. Thanks. Zach, I, I just want to let you know that I really appreciate your friendship. And I, I, I just want to let you know that I think you're up. <laughs> so that's what I think about you. I almost forgot. I said I would buy the farming skill cape later. So here we are. Let's go buy the cape for 99kgp. And there we go. So the perk of this cape is that when you have it equipped and you're harvesting herbs, you get 5% increased yield, which does stack with the magic secateurs. But to be honest, when I do get herb seeds from PVMing, like I'm not gonna go to my house, grab this cape out just to get a couple extra, like whatever seed I'm farming. Like I don't think it's really that big of a deal. So I probably won't actually use it. Uh, the other perk of it is that it gives you unlimited teleports to the farming guild, um, which is pretty useful for early game UIM if you like rush farming at Tithe Farm or something, because you can like get to your Hispori, you can get to Spirit Tree. Um, but because I have the Spirit Tree in my POH, I have the Con Cape, I have the Jewelry Box to get here, um, I don't think there's really any much use for this cape for me. But it's going to be another one to fill up the costume room with. They're just, they're just standing there, they're not doing anything. Yo, free points. They're just, it, it's not praying or anything, the bot, I assume it's a bot, it's just, it's just standing there, just taking it. Shut the fuck down, you fucking rat. Yo, I made it into the last two, let's freaking go. Don't choke now, this could be it, it could be my very first win. Oh. Nice one. Come on, hit. Wait, AGS, AGS spec, AGS spec, come on, finish him! Come on, one more, come on! Come on! Why won't you hit? No. Come on, finish him! Yes! I just won my first ever game of LMS! What happens now? What, what do we get? What do we get? Okay, wait, isn't there like a cape we get or something? Oh, there it is, tier 1 cape. You win once and then you get the cape for free. Let's see, there it is, yo! <laughs> Not gonna talk about the fact I killed like 2 or 3 bots to get that win, but... Hey, and you can store that in the POH. We'll put it in there now, we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, there's all the LMS capes. Nice. Can I just like get as many as I want? Oh, cool. Like, can I just keep taking them? Oh. <laughs> every time. Every time. How do you fucking hit every time? <laughs> Good one, Zach. <laughs> Good one, Zach. How come you're wearing Ancestral, bro? <laughs> Okay, elite from TOB. Yes. Wait, I got purple. Holy shit, you got a purple, bro. Oh, dude, this could On be that it. Raid? Okay, go <laughs> Vernick, and we can go to Chambers. Easy. Oh, dude. Okay, a Vernick, Justy top, Justy bottom. Alright, here we go. Oh, yes! yes! Oh, dude, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yes. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. We didn't even get to 100kc. Just. 
Oh my god, dude. That's, that's pretty awesome. sick. Cheesy. Thanks. Oh, yes. Alright, let's go make it. Is there like an animation? No. Oh. <laughs> you cannot undo it. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, there's no animation. But there it is. Oh, oh that's so cool. Look at it. Hell yeah. Alright, well, I guess we're, uh, or I guess I'm done with TOB for a while. Alright, you guys want to say anything for, for YouTube? Nah. Not really. Uh, sit the fuck down. Hey, it's special loot. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what are the odds? Congrats, dude. <laughs> God, I'm so original. Well, there it is. There's the collection log, and uh, we are done with TOB for a while. You know, I really would like to come back eventually just for the Justy top and bottom, but I don't know, that'd probably be a really long time away from now because we got the Lance, we got the Avernic, and next grind I want to do on this account, which we're going to spend a very, very, very long time on, is going to be Raids 1, the Chambers of Zarek. And in case you don't know, there's the difference between the Dragon Defender and the Avernic Defender. The Avernic, as you can see, is pretty much better in almost every way, minus a couple of those little negative differences, but for the most part, it's just a straight-up upgrade for so many things, because think of all the places you use a Defender at. Pretty much anywhere you use melee, really. I haven't logged out yet, but when I do log out, we will be rank 59. Well, let's do a price check of uh, all this stuff dropped over to the main from last. I guess it was 25 TOBs, so here we go, 3.7, 3.8 mil. And then here's the loot tracker. Uh, this is from all 75 of the TOBs that we did in total, which was almost 100 mil. I was free for all the whole time, so I didn't split with anyone and no one split with me. Um, I probably would have made more money because I did see quite a few other items that I didn't get a split from, of course. Okay, what else did we get done in this video? We got 99 farming. Um, I got my first ever LMS win. Some of you may know me for my uh, fabled RCB to Ballista switch, and uh, it managed to secure us that one victory. Oh, I don't think I mentioned it, by the way, but LMS is safe. Like, if you have stuff in a death storage, um, it stays in there if you die in LMS. Man, I've just been standing here just staring at this little, little steel defender-looking Avernic that we have now. Oh, I'm so happy, man. Such a satisfying ending to the TOB saga. But um, yeah, like I said, Chamber starts next video. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.